What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 540, 540 TV here, 540 in the building, 540 gang, gang. Look, I'm showing y'all how to install a push start in a GMC 2009 Sierra 1500 HD, uh, 4x4. So, um, this is pretty much so you can bypass all the uh, trying to find the wires and, and all that type of stuff. You see a lot of videos on YouTube where they don't show you exactly what wire is what wire. This is going to be specifically for a 2005, and I forgot what the ending year is, but I know this one is a 2009, all right? All right, so once I got the belly pan down here, I was able to get to um, my harness, and the harness is actually right here. All right, this is actually the where the key is going, but that's not the correct harness. This one is the correct one. I left the wire spliced there in case the owner wants to go back to the original setup. So it'll be pretty easy. All right, so of course our red wire is going to our red and white of the vehicle. The red and white of the vehicle is the 12 volt constant wire. All right. Our yellow from our push start is going to our starter wire, which is white on the vehicle. Brown, which is ignition two, is going to a pink and black wire from the vehicle. White, which is our initial one wire, is going to an all pink wire on the vehicle. Blue, which is our ACC accessory wire, is going to a brown wire on the vehicle. And of course, the ground of the push start unit is grounded to the vehicle. All right, next, our brake wire, which is gonna be this green wire here, um, the actual harness, has a green and brown but you don't have to worry about the brown the green wire is being connected you're going to follow the brake all the way up find your harness which is right here all right the wire that you will connect to is a light blue and white wire so your green is going to a light blue and white wire all right, I will add, if you would like to bypass the brake so you don't have to uh, use the brake, you can do that. Um, this wire here, which is our green wire coming from our push start system, um, I'm gonna connect this wire to our brown wire coming from our push start system and our pink and black coming from the truck itself. This is actually the uh, ignition two wire because you want the car pretty much go through the sequences of AC, star, and then star two. So we're gonna connect this to what's in the last chain of that, which is um, star two. I'm just do this for the moment. All right, so let's do our transponder key. You hear it twice. All right, so you don't have to have your foot on the brake. So no foot on the brake, you cut it off by just hitting it. Um, the only thing I could think of that this would not be good for is if you're driving, um, your car will cut off if you mistakenly hit this. The only way that usually it will cut off, it was connected right to the uh, brake, is you would have to hold the brake and then hit this and then the car cuts off. But like I said, this is just a bypass if you don't want to use it. Um, just make sure you have your um, button up far enough and not where your knee can possibly hit it and you know cut the car off while you're driving. All right? All right, let's go ahead and get this truck started up. Um, we don't have to do any programming or anything. Uh, we just make sure our, our rear and our transponder is there. Our key is in ignition, um, but we're probably gonna cut this key off so that um, it leaves this unlocked. 
All right. So let's put our, I guess, key fob type things here. And our transponder, you're gonna hit that beat, foot on the brake. One, two, three. And everything started up. To stop the vehicle, just hold it. Hit it one time. So let's try it again. Foot on the brake. One, two, three. And it started up. To stop the vehicle, just hit it once. All right, so make sure that your foot is on the brake because that's what's gonna um, disarm the, uh, I guess the um, immobilizer. Make sure you put your key fob near the ring or in the ring. You're gonna hear two beeps while you're still holding the brake. Hit the engine once, twice, and then it'll start up on the third one. So let's try it again. Foot on the brake. You hear it twice. One, two, three. And everything started up. Thank y'all for viewing the video. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully it was informational to you to help you speed past the process of trying to find the wires, which is stressful. Um, because using the online sources, sometimes the wire uh, diagrams be wrong. So this is just a jump start for you. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the post notification bell. Make sure you like, comment. Uh, on my channel so hopefully like i said this video was very informational if it was you know what i'm saying hit that like button hit the like button for me all right see y'all later